Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gaming here, about to get into some Ghost Recon Wildlands. Not my favourite game in the world, but I've realised I haven't really tested it since buying my GTX 1080 Ti or at Ultra Wide, so it's worth making a video for those who are interested. So I want to quickly go through the settings as usual. So I'm using a resolution of 3440x1440. I've got the field of view at 75%. Looking at the graphics settings, I'm using V Ultra preset. I have made one or two changes which has made it turn to custom and the only changes I've really made is I've disabled motion blur. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is on turf effects from NVIDIA Gameworks is also enabled as well. So those are the settings I'm going to be using. So this game does have its performance issues, it is quite demanding, um, especially at ultra seven. settings as well. If you were to play this game at this resolution, I would recommend using the very high preset. It still looks pretty good and you should maintain 60 frames per second, but for the sake of seeing how a GTX and ATTI can perform on the ultra preset, I'm going to leave it at ultra settings. So I'm going to be playing a single, I'm playing single player, I'm going to be playing uh, one of the story missions, so I'm striving to my destination now. I'm going to try and avoid all the side quests because you can get attacked by cartel members on the road just like now and you can do a lot of side quests on the way so I'm going to try and stick to the main game. Um, driving is one of the places performance teams to tank and the animations are a bit dodgy as well, I have to say. So this is definitely not my favourite game in the world. Uh, but some people find it fun. Okay, I've got to take a right here. I do one thing I will give to the game is the the, the sheer scale of this map is absolutely massive. Um, so it's one main thing I've noticed about the more modern games get the the bigger they are. And um, it does take a while to cover this whole map, that's for sure. So there's probably plenty to, to discover if you're one of those guys that like to reveal everything on their maps. So just coming up onto my objective now. It's 500 meters away, so I'm going to have to get off the bike soon because I don't want to alert my enemies. Should probably... get in here real covertly so I'm going to ditch the bikes here I'm going to call my squad tell them to form up ok so I'm going to try and sneak in here now so I'm meant to find someone and interrogate them if I can correctly remember just want to make sure I've got my silencer on as well got my silencers on so I'm going to try and avoid detection in these towers they more than likely got snipers so let's have a look around don't spot any enemies yeah there's one Sniper there in the tower. I'm trying to take this guy out alright that's one down Need to get in a better position to see if there's one in this tower as well, okay. which there more the than likely is. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Roger that. Who else? I don't seem to be anyone there. Oh, there is one sniper there actually. Just seen him. Sniper, top of the tower. Okay, that's the second one down. Just need to find a way into this base now. I'll switch back to my normal rifle. Move there. Eyes on an Unidad grunt. Over by the checkpoint. Okay, so there's someone over there. Let's wait for my team to form up. There is someone in that window. Yeah, I got a weapons case here. Here we go. Got it. Eyes on the Unidad captain. Okay, 
Okay, took him down. Hopefully he was alone. Take this guy out, but I don't want to alert any other enemies while doing so. It's nice and easy. I think there's one sniper up there that I need to take out. Okay, I need to tell my team to form up. Rally on me. Roger, moving. Okay, so we need to find some guy. We need to find him alive. So we need to find a way to get into this base. Is there a way to open the door from here? I guess it wouldn't be too hard to climb this gate, but it's quite obvious, isn't it? We just release these rebels. So they'll kick off a little beef with the, the guys that imprisoned them. Hopefully they won't kill the guy that I'm trying to find and interrogate. He's somewhere in the middle of the compound where that yellow dot is. Not too sure what the hell my team's doing, but they need to kind of stay on me. Rally up, people. Only their forces are attacking the ground of the cage. Good. Okay, so I'm after the main guy, I don't really care about everyone else. So I don't want him escaping. Yeah, I think he's up here. Where the hell is he? You are. So, I'm interrogating uh, here. Mierda, you may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Oye, Polito. I've got a lamp ready for delivery. Come on, Got it. Right. 